Alrighty, welcome back. We're in the big shop. We're playing with the Bugatti chassis. Nathan is the man that's been doing all the stuff to the engine and the brakes and all that stuff to try to get it where I want to be able to paint something and put it on. Um, he's the one who wired it up. He's the one that got the head bolts out. He's the one that put the valve in. He pretty well done the whole thing on his spare time at nighttime. That's the only time I can get him. Um, uh, we're thinking that we've got everything done. We got the water, the leak stopped in the radiator. We got the leak stopped. We got oil in it. Uh, we put a little transmission fluid in it. We hooked up a oil gauge to see if we got oil pressure. Uh, we've got the line run for uh, the oil cooler that we deleted. Um, he's taken and used a Shre Chev distributor. What's that called? Module module for the wiring to put fire into the distributor so he's got it firing um, he's actually played with the carburetors got some new line put on that because as soon as he put gas in they were leaking uh, we've got some gas in the funnel right at the present moment um, so you're saying it's not if the gas stays in the funnel it's not leaking past the past the needle and seat so that seems to be fine um, so basically we're going to turn it over and see if it runs for the very first time on fuel by itself. That's what we're going to do. Enough to try it out. Enough to try it out. Yeah, we're there. not going to try to burn the garage down, hopefully. <laughs> That's basically what's, you know, the, the worry about putting gas and all that sort of stuff. It backfired and threw gas everywhere. It could be a, a, an issue. But I'm thinking that we're fine. We haven't got very much gas. We'd only have a small fire, wouldn't we? Yeah, we had sea foam in on that. You know, on the pistons and stuff, so it's a little bit of some lube in there if it's gonna. Yes, so when uh, we first took start taking this apart, he put some sea foam on top of all the pistons, took the plugs out, and um, so there's some lube in there for the pistons to start if it takes right off. So basically, we just got it mocked up so we can try to see if it'll run. See if it will fire. Yeah, so yeah. Are, we, are we pretty well ready to rock and roll? We're pretty well ready, ready to go. Ready to go. Yeah. Do you. <clears throat> You tell me what to do, and I will do. We got your starter wire here. Okay. I'm gonna stick the ground on here. I know we should add some alligator clips, but we're just trying right here. I've got a lot of stuff, Nathan. You must you must come to realize that, haven't you? <laughs> well, we're just giving her a go. Yeah. Give her a little. See if we get some fire here. Fire. We'll stick that down there a little bit tighter. That should give us some fire. We're just gonna give her a little bit of brake clean to. See if she so, that. okay. And I'm gonna give it a little shot, and you can turn it over. Okay, give her a try. Right. Yep. <laughs> yep. Did it shoot you? No, no, it's all right. Go again. You can uh, give her a go again. Yep. She didn't take too much fuel there yet. <laughs> you got a little pressure. Yep. We got yep. oil pressure. She's starting to take a little fuel there now. Yep, she was up to 45. Yeah. Yep. Let's uh, try her again. Okay, we'll just try the button idle. Go again? Yep. Give it a show. Okay, try her again. Oil pressure took right off. Yep, we got no leaks here, so. No leaks there. Oh, that's good. I never even thought about that. I was looking at that thing, but we got no no oil leaks down where we had the bypass. You can see oil going through, so. Yep. All right, let's just try her again there. See how these carbs, we don't know much Ready? We might have to pull them carburetors apart and, and make sure the jets are opened up in them. Is that what's going on, you think? She's not wanting to open up to us. Try her again. Around. 
start to take some fuel now. Okay. Yep. Give it one more try, I guess. <laughs> oh, here we go. See if she'll handle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll probably pull them apart and check the jets. We can give her some more fuel, though. She burned. She did burn all the fuel up in it now. Is that right? You want more fuel? Never had the history for it. No, let's put it in the chat. I don't want to dump it in that way. <laughs> what? What? Let's go over here and dump it in there. Jesus. I'm getting gas on the carpet there, anyways. Nathan don't want gas on his carpet. There we go. Can I put the radiator? What's that, sweetheart? Can I put the radiator cap on? I'll just leave it off. Okay. So you can see what's going on. And it's not going to hurt anything. Like, we're not. I drank that fuel that fast? Yeah, I didn't have it quite that full either. Let's try it again there. You want to hold, man, I don't know if you want to hold that funnel or not. She kind of shakes quite heavy. Like, yeah. ready? See what I'm saying? Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. I think we're gonna have to pull them apart. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a shame. But Would have been nice. See if she opens it. Open. Hang up on top of the chick spot. Try it again. Try it again? Yeah. Ready? Yep, try it again. We can get some idle. I'm just going to turn the idle up a little bit on that one. On that one there. I think it's set up so it does both. Yeah, it does. It's moving that one. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to give it one little shot of break clean. Just give her a try there. Go for it. Yeah. There's our alligator clip we don't have. <laughs> Testing too. I can hold that. Jam it in there. I'll try her again. Yeah, we're gonna have to pull them apart. Try one more time. <laughs> You seen the, di the disappointment on my face, did you? Yeah, yeah, try try it one more time. Yeah, again. The carpet. The exhaust. <laughs> 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 did. Yeah. All right, there we go. Jeez, I didn't even. <laughs> indoor, outdoor. That's our brand new carpet. <laughs> I need that carpet back. Indoor, outdoor. Well, I think uh, we gotta get the, we'll get the fuel pump geared up to it and get some. Is that what's not? It's yeah, not. Because we'll we'll it did take off there once, like it. Yeah, it's gonna come around. <laughs> it burnt the carpet. <laughs> That's why you were saying to put them on there. What? Yeah, he said put the... It shot on the floor. It burnt. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that seemed to... Um, motor sales, could we just get it? We'll get that tuned up a little bit better. I'm thinking that if you... First try, that's pretty good. I'm thinking if you had the... Well, just to me, it just seemed like it 
that carburetor, once it kicked in there, it really... Yeah. I could do that for the next hour. <laughs> get some more fuel on it, then we'll get a uh, fan and belt on it, circulate the water pump. Okay. And we have water in it. Water just barely lukewarm. Inside. Oh, yes, that's... Shh. I, that's drinking water. Cool. Well, there you go for the very first time. Um, are, you, would, are you going to hook up the, this, this fuel pump before you mess with the carburetors? I think we'll hook the fuel pump up first. Yeah, and yeah because they're. Okay. We'll hook the fuel pump up and get a good, good fuel coming to us. Could we. Yeah, I suppose we, we very much could. We could hook the. How would you. Um, hook, what would you do? Hook that up to a, just a gas jug? And Whatever you want to use for a jug to try it in. Yeah. Okay. Pretty good start there, I'd say. Yep. I want, I want to touch that, but I know it's hot. <laughs> yeah, it's not too bad. That's too bad that it burnt that carpet. You won't use that on your front deck now. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Peeled that right back. Just like a banana. more things and we'll, okay. we'll get her going. Yeah, it really took off there once, didn't it? You could really tell like it wanted to um, rev up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it could be just that there's no pressure on those on those carburetors? Is that what it could be? Like for, sure. for gas? Yeah, I'm not sure what they're supposed to have for pressure to them. So yeah. We'll try the three to seven pound pump on it. Yeah. So there she's got overseen the needles, so. Awesome. It's not leaking water. Nope. nope. It had good oil pressure, did it not? Yeah. Yeah, yeah like we are up pretty near 80 pounds there at one time. It's cold, yeah. Yeah? yeah she first kicked over, yeah. Yeah. So the oil pressure's good. Bypass ain't leaking. So. Yeah, that's a, that's a good thing, isn't it? I think we're looking pretty good on there so far. Awesome. Train lines aren't leaking either, so. Well, I guess that means that we better start doing painting. <laughs> Is that what it means? That means, you know, basically, I mean, how, how would you, how are you going to hook this up? How you, what are you going to do? Just run it to try it. How are you going to do it? We'll put the fittings on it and put the yeah. line and then hook it to the battery and try it in. Okay, so you just hook it to a battery, hook it to that battery or another battery? We'll hook it to that battery. Okay. Just try it in, ready? Get some alligator clips. Okay, that would make a difference. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Alrighty, there you go. She got her started. Um, she's not fine-tuned yet, that's for sure, but um, it, everything is looking real good, that's that's for sure. Transmission was turning. Was that, would that be in gear, would it? Me neither. I have no idea. It's pretty good fire up for starting. Right? Yeah? Now you know. Yeah. And this is not your forte. I've never done Jaguar it's... stuff ever. So. <laughs> First Jaguar ever. First Jaguar ever. He's a, he's a virgin. Yeah, it's good to be a virgin once in a while, isn't it? Once in a while. <laughs> once in a while. Right on. Cool. There you go. We burnt the carpet. We got rice coming out of her. Um, she started it up. Noise. It made some noise. I, you could really kicked in there. Yeah, I think it gets more fuel too. Once there, it really kicked in quite nice. Like it revved up really nice. Like it sounds like it could be beefy. really good. What? Sounds beefy. It sounds, yeah, it does sound beefy. Mm -hmm. But anyways. So would you start it and try to run that fuel out of it, or? That might be what we might do, yeah. And then, then we can put the pump back on after it starts going, if it runs any amount. Yeah, that's kind of right here. Do you want that towel down underneath there, or is this towel good here? Uh, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just stuff it in there so anything catches it's not all going okay. on the carpet. Yeah. And... I turned the idling back then because it did idle up a little bit high. Yeah. So, what's going on there when the gas is coming the in there? Needle's sticking. The needle's the, either the float set too high, or the needle something there stuck open. I mean, the floats come up; it's not shutting off, and she's pushing the fuel right back. Okay. But it didn't seem to be doing it in this one. Sometimes you can give them a couple taps, and they'll. But I don't want to tap them too much because they're in nice carburetors and stuff, right? Oh, whack it. Yeah. <laughs> Whack fuck. Yeah. Let's just uh, let's just try here. See what this does. 
You might want to open the door after we run it here a little bit. Do you want me to do that? I want you to do the starter here. Yeah. Is that the starter? Yep, that's the starter. You do the starter. What do you, what's that piece you got? This is a fuel pump. Okay. See if it starts and I might put it on and try it. Ready? Yep. <laughs> What's that? Come around. Okay. That traffic is going to the fire. That fire looks pretty good right there. Like, I just put it on for a few minutes. I wonder if I put a little sea foam in that gas. What do you think? The overflow. Okay. She's starting to come up there, warm up a little bit there. Not enough. We were ready a little bit. Yeah. It's not running quite right because that one, but it's coming around idling there now, like it was. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear. It is like this a minute now. Should I put some, would I put some sea foam in that? Uh... You can, yeah. Okay, just a minute. I want to put some in there. <laughs> Get a little floaty in there. A little <laughs> floater. Yeah, that little car is there. I think probably ain't gonna hurt to take them off and clean them jets and stuff. But that one there, the needle's sticking in this one. And I think the float's stuck open on that one. So it's getting too much fuel. Phoenix is getting the hell out of here. It's getting too much fuel on that one. How much, uh, just a little bit on this? Or? I'll dump some in there. It ain't gonna hurt nothing, is it? It ain't gonna hurt nothing. Is that half a container? Double cut for it or half a container? So there we won't we'll, uh, we won't run that no more for a little bit till we start again now. Okay. But I'm now just, we gotta get that water pump circulating. That'd be the next thing. The water pump circulating? Yeah. Circling the water. Yeah. Right. Just put a little bit in that. Man, that starts easy now though. That's really easy. I mean, that makes you without touching the fuel? Without putting the fuel on? Or? Wow. 
That starts good, eh? Yeah. We get the carburetors ticker rate. The, the fuel pressure is the, was the... Was the ticket? That was the ticket, yeah. So, but now, like I say, it wasn't keeping enough fuel. So... One float, this float stuck open. Okay. That one stuck open. It's running on this one, right? But I could just hook that one carburetor across that one carburetor. It would run on that one carburetor. But well, we, we want two. Yeah, you want both. Yeah. Yeah. We want all... Uh, uh, what's that? Oh, they did, didn't they? That's pretty. Isn't it? That's pretty. Almost look like copper. So, yeah, I think we'll have to go get some circuit with the water So, can we, can we wait for a little bit and then put a little sea foam through and see... Okay. Okay. Sounds good to me. I don't know what time it is, but. Okay. We'll just we'll just take a, a chill and let it cool down, and then we'll we'll try it again. Yeah, let it cool down. It's, I mean, it's not hot, hot. But she's she's warming up there now. She's the intake. Did, that's all the antifreeze runs through that intake. So that's kind of cool. Well, why don't we, uh, I can put the bolts now, because then we're turning the damn I wonder. Then we're turning that damn We're not much. What do you want to do? I'd like to put a belt on it, run the water pump so it circulates a little bit more. Like right now, that's fairly, that's warm. You can hook the alternator belt on the, no, no, that won't, darn. It would if we had one more. And a little tiny belt, we could hook it on the. Um, I don't know if, if there'd be anything fly or that pump. I don't like running them. No, no, no. Yeah, probably fucking. I don't want to try to find don't another one. That. Not really. <laughs> um, just wait for a minute. Just, just, we'll just, let's, we'll just wait for a minute. We got lots of time, ain't we? we got yeah, we got lots 20 time. after 8. Fuck, you got till 9, ain't you? Oh, I got lots of time. You got till 9. No, she's coming around there now, though. Okay. She's coming around. Like, oh, can we, can we, can we, yeah, can we get a, can we have a drink from the fridge? Yeah. Celebration drink? Yeah. Oh, let's see if that water pump turns. Yeah, let's see if it sends some water through it. So, one is fuel, one starter here. What do we got? There's fuel. I'll take the fuel pump. I'll take the starter. You take the starter, yeah. Are you ready to rock yep. and roll? Rock and roll. Out of black tape. Should I put more water in that? Black tape. Made a belt out of black tape. Should I put more water in that?
Oil pressure. Getting hot now? Still hot? It's coming up a little bit, but it's... <laughs> that worked. Where the fucking black tape was. <laughs> that circulated so many ways and helped it, right? Oh, listen, that circulated good. Yeah, it was just shooting around, man. Yeah, she's not hot enough. Oh, wow. It was, it was actually just as hot before. It brought it around a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, we'll let the carburetor set and we'll try it again and I think we'll see. Got some other sea foam and ATF through there now. Should have. Yeah, a little bit. What's that leaking? What's that running? That's the oil dropping back from the heads down there. Okay. Yeah, now it's circling. Before that bottom one was cold, it was out. Okay. Now it's yeah, you could tell she was circulating there good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> awesome. It sounds way better, eh? It's coming. Yeah. It's coming around. Yeah. Now, like I say, we can get some things tidied up on that. Gotta figure out which one's the vacuum. If this is a vacuum here, we could run that vacuum to the distributor. I don't know. That's vacuum. That's gonna be vacuum. There's no water coming. I just want to check something real quick. It's the same size. Yeah, I what? I've got a piece of rubber hose. Yeah, we should be able to run that one back. Yeah, that's the vacuum. Yeah, that's the vacuum. Yeah, that's the Would that make it run better too? Yeah. i got yeah. a piece of rubber hose for that. Yeah. Do you want it? Yep, yeah, we can run that. Because it doesn't have one on the carburetor for the vacuum. It's all on the carburetor. What's this thing here? What's, what are these things here? Wait a second. Them are, they're, they're vents. What's this one right here? Just a second, we're learning here as we go. We're learning here as we go. Oh. We're gonna go from here, right from there, down. That's even better. Okay. Not when there's vacuum. So that's another thing, we're, we're sucking vacuum while that was running too, right? So. That black tape's holding up. Made a belt, man. Yeah. It's making it circulate. So we run a vacuum line from there to the distributor. Yeah. And then that'll help them as you rev it up. It gives. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to get a piece of belt, or not a piece of belt, a piece of hose. I had a piece over there. I'm going to get it. Not leaking right now? Alright. Got the fuel pump on right now, but it's not leaking gas around the carburetor anymore. So he just kind of taps it, taps it, and cut it. That come around, it didn't, it wasn't leaking. I seen that, that. I seen that. <laughs> Nathan even got to dance. <laughs> and it's up 60 pounds and it's warm, so that's good. Yeah. Nothing's leaking out of it. You know what I mean? It could be pissing everywhere, but it's not. Gold. Just like you, baby. Gold. gold. Yeah, I'd say we'll leave that now and then, uh, and then I think we should get to. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's not. It's not overly hot. It's not. It's not boiling over. No. No. It's not boiling over because it's not spitting out the overflow or nothing like that. So we. Yeah. Have, we haven't got it hot. We haven't got it hot. Hot to hurt it at all. It's oh wow. So. so. So everything's unhooked right now. Everything's good. So we leave. Can we leave the gas where it is and all that let's sort of just, stuff? Uh, what do you want to do? Just undo. 
So we got everything unhooked other than the power, the main power to the starter. Okay. Which is here. Uh, Just unhook them vice grips? You know what, I should have put that. What we'll do is we'll unhook this here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then next time we'll just clamp that on with this at the same time. And then pull it all off. And then, then, then it's all disconnected. Then it's all disconnected. I think that's, what, that's a safer way to... So next time we won't use that. All we'll do next time is we'll just lay this on here like this. Yeah. And then we'll just go like that, then you're good. We'll back off. Right. Yeah. Awesome. Start. Sounding good. Start there. There. Look out, boys. I might finish something. <laughs> you just see now, I see when you get half throttle now, from half throttle up, it's working perfect. It's the low end. So that low speed jet is probably a little bit dirty in that low speed jet. Yeah. So hopefully it soaks enough, it'll come mm. around. And we might it's not leaking it. as you were. It's I, not leaking fuel there. I've seen that. I had it right on and it was yeah. really good. So that's a make me smile. Winner, winner. Chicken Thank dinner. You. you know what they say? Tastes like chicken. Keep on licking. Tastes like trout. Throw it out. That <laughs> 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 way. Mm. Yeah. No, that's good there. Awesome. Yeah, it sounds really good, don't it? Yeah. Yeah, it sounds good. Very happy with that. Get it there now, come along. And it's not leaking anything. I make that makes me happy no. too. Like I never checked the radiator, never checked it at all. Welded it all up, did a bunch of work to it, never even checked it. Weld yep. the mount on it. Yep, and it's, not. it's not leaking. So now we got to get a power steering. We got to get the power steering lines. She yeah, power steering she, lines she built up pressure. We'll just take the pressure off so it doesn't keep anything on it. Or something. Yeah. Just leave it loose for now. Awesome. So yeah, if we get a power steering line on it now, then we can get that circulating, and then, then we can put the fan belt on it. Once the fan's on, then you'll be able to run it for longer. It'll stay cool then. And then you can play with it a little bit more then and you can do play all with the carbs more while yep. it's running. Then yeah, yeah. I think that's where we should hit her next. <laughs> right in the power steering lines. Right in the fucking power steering lines. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, take that so we'll have to deal with that. We'll have to look for that on that thing there. Yeah. See if you can get some power steering lines for it. Once you get power steering lines, we can plumb that in. And that vacuum advance, that did make a difference, you can tell. Yeah, sure did. Yeah, you can tell there. There. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. What do you think, baby? You got a smile on your face, too. Huh? It starts good, doesn't it? Like, you, like I mean, if you're... It's bang, it's right there. So the yeah. firing and everything's... No, no issues there. As you've seen on the video, we first time we've had the engine running off the gasoline. We've got water in the radiator. It's holding water now. Um, it's holding water. Uh, we didn't want to overheat it or anything like that. We have our oil, what do you want to call that? Oil cooler um, fab that we did on the oil cooler. We have that working. Um, we have that plumbed in. We have a oil pressure valve right there. Um, what you've seen on the first video was we had a funnel with gas going in that way. Uh, it didn't run that good. It kind of spit and sputtered and, and did a lot of that at first. It did, it did run, it did run, but it didn't run that good. Um, we then took this off and decided that we were going to hook it up to a jug of gas with the fuel pump hooked to it. It ran really good, or it ran better than it did before. Uh, the issue we had then was when he touched the, the wire for the pump to start the pump up, you could see that one carburetor, this carburetor was not leaking fuel out. This carburetor was leaking fuel out. So obviously the needle valve or the float was stuck um, was for that fuel to be running out of that carburetor. Um, that's why it was not working the best. Uh, as we got going, we decided to put some, uh, what's that stuff called? Sea foam in there. And we even put a little transmission fluid in there. Uh, we got it running again. As we had it running, um, we did not have it circulating. It had water in the radiator, but we did not have it circulating. So I'm going to step back just a second. So what we did, we did not have the fan on it. And we did not have a belt on it for the power steering pump because we didn't want to burn the power steering pump out because we do not have the connections for the power steering pump to the rack and pinion. So what we did is we took some black tape 
and we wrapped it around the pulley, the crank pulley, and, and the fan pulley. We wrapped some tape around that. And what happened was that made the water circulate. Uh, so then we got to fill it full of water. We got the water in it now. Um, we had a, a homemade belt for, you know, to, to get it running. Uh, when we started it up again, uh, the, the fuel kept coming out of the carburetor. You see uh, Nathan tapping on the carburetor trying to get it to stop. Uh, the needle valve stopped sticking or the whatever, try to get it stopped sticking. Um, it did circulate. You'll see that in the video. It was circulating with the tape. We got that going good so the, the heat was not that high. We had over 60 pounds oil pressure, which is fantastic. As we got going and on the very end of the video, it showed that it wasn't sounding bad. It was sounding pretty good, but the very last 10 seconds or 15 seconds of the last of the videos, this carburetor stopped leaking. So him tapping on it with some sea foam and transmission fluid in the gas with the pump on, this carburetor stopped leaking and it started working really good. It's basically started, worked real good. It idled really good. It was circulating really good. So we left it as that. We had run it enough. We had the, the heat up on a little bit. We had good oil pressure. Uh, we have water in it. It's holding water. Uh, this makeshift uh, oil unit, sending unit or oil unit here was working. It showed on the gauge. It did not um, blow the oil filter off. So right at the present moment, we have a running engine for Jolene's car. We still have to have the power steering pump hooked up to the rack. We haven't reordered the lines. So we're going to have that hooked up. This has stopped leaking. So that is working. The, the carburetor is working. This carburetor was working, but this one wasn't. Um, basically, we're on the move. Everything, we're going to have to go over it a little bit more. Just keep playing with it, keep playing with it, keep playing with it until we get it. But we're, we're on the move. Uh, the transmission uh, cooler was working. Nothing was leaking out of that. Um, you can see by Jolene's headers on her, on her car, everything's firing. All the pipes are the same color. Everything's firing good. As you've seen on the video, that pipe went over and burnt the carpet. Got to be careful of that sort of stuff. But now we have everything. We just got to make everything tidy and look right. Uh, we have the coil down here. We have that hooked up. We have um, the modulator, the distributor modulator, I guess it's called, is it? Ignition module. Ignition module. Jolene's helping me out here. We got that hooked up. But basically what we have to do is we have to get all that stuff looking neat and tidy. We have our, we had a vacuum um, issue there for a bit for the distributor we got got that figured out but everything's going pretty good so it's just one step after another step and we'll get it running good i want to be able to come in here and hit the hit the key or hit the battery and have it running circulating water with the power steering pump with the alternator everything charging and get it wired up we'll soon be off to paint we'll soon be off to paint and that's how it rolls. You, you know, we would not want to have everything painted when we do not have this done. But we are getting closer and closer and closer. Uh, stick with us and we'll keep you informed on everything that we do. Like it's kind of showing the process of what's going on. The engine is running. Have a great day, everybody. Appreciate your time and your effort of watching. Uh, soon it will be time to spray Jolene's car. Yay! Like, subscribe, come back, comment. Have a great day.